It's been six years. Just think about how long that is. Six years since a mainline Halo first-person shooter has been released. No, MCC does not count. In six years, a lot can happen. And a lot sure has happened. At least in the world of Halo. Halo Infinite has been on the table for quite a while now. But after a continuous delay, it's finally here. And what can I say? The game is incredible. On November 15th, we got it, baby. The, Halo, the multiplayer aspect of the game was released as a beta to celebrate the 20th anniversary of Halo. By beta, though, it does not mean unfinished mess, which is hardly playable like a few other FPS games out there. <laughs> Battlefield 2042. Today I'll be looking at Halo Infinite's multiplayer and giving my first impressions on what could easily be the best Halo game since Halo 3. Halo Infinite's multiplayer undoubtedly has one of the best rosters of weapons in the long history of Halo. The game itself is 22 main weapons plus 4 types of grenades. The different weapons are unique and fun in their own right. You can choose from the classic AR to the brand new Commando, and even the awesome gravity handler, which I mean, just look at it, savor it. Halo Infinite's weapons are also all completely free. That's right, no more shoddy loot box weapons like in Call of Halo, sorry, I mean Halo 5. Some weapons like the Spanker can shoot rockets, others will shoot deadly lasers which melt your opponents. I just love the selection, and I think 343i did a great job with this. Halo Infinite's movement is also a big plus. It's like they combine the best of all worlds here. You can sprint name like in Halo 4 and 5, however it is balanced or it does not really change firefights. The art style is also incredible, feeling like a true return to form. Halo Infinite's forerunner structures look like the OG ones from the original trilogy. I mean, just look at them. And the AR looks like the one from Reach. The banished art direction is also awesome with their vehicles and weapons looking more handcrafted and modified, which I think fits the banish perfectly. I'll give 343 credit for this project, and I have completely changed my mind about them as a couple. Yeah, I know, this is the part none of y'all are gonna like. Halo Infinite does, however, suffer from a few issues. First, there are some major visual issues that I've noticed. For one, when you pop a tire, it'll just disappear. Also, though this may be because I played on old gym, many shadows would just randomly disappear, and it really annoyed me. Also, I don't really like a few of the vehicles in particular. I never had much luck with the with the many jet engines that the US the UNSC has. My final complaint is the monetization system. You knew it was coming. Because well, First, it takes you a heck of a time to level up. And some of the cosmetics are like $20, but look really bad. Kinda feels like a cash grab. But my list of issues is pretty short, though I'll probably encounter some more in the future. Halo Infinite feels like a true return to form. It's the first time Halo has felt like Halo in ages. Right now is a magical time in this blessed community, and because of the commitment of the dev team, I believe that this game will become the second, maybe even the best Halo game ever. We will just have to wait and see. I wonder where 343 will take this series. Who knows?